Are you dead? <laughs> what are you looking for? Are you don't... looking for this, Hopi? Yeah. Huh? Are you looking for that? Is that going to be good? Mm -hmm. Do you like steak? Yeah. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> I drowned. Look at this thing. I'm going to make you a steak, okay? What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, thanks for taking the time. Uh, it's Friday evening. I'm going to try to post a late vlog tonight. I'm just basically doing an up, um, uh, update for you guys, what we got going on around the homestead. I've, I've been, it's been a busy, busy day. I haven't had a chance to come out here and film yet. Um, but if you've seen that big steak, um, I like to cook tomahawk steaks time to time. Now, I do got a, a freezer full of beef, but nothing like that. And I've been wanting to make a video on how to cook the perfect tomahawk steak. Um, so I'll have a video out on that in the next few days. But if you didn't know, I have a cooking channel called Dutch Eats, and I'm gonna put an i card up to my last video. It's pretty, it's a pretty cool one. My brother, uh, my brother Vincent, told me about about it, and he's seen it on Facebook or something. So I'll put an i card up right there. It's Pillsbury cinnamon rolls made into waffles so if that's something you're interested in i'm telling you they're freaking awesome you guys will like them if you're a kid watching this tell your mom to make you some cinnamon roll waffles um, watch that video i put up there and you guys are going to be amazed at how good they are but all right enough of that go check out dutch eat subscribe over there if you're not subscribed and i appreciate you guys but i'm, I'm gonna be making a video on the barrel house cooker um here in just a little bit so i'm gonna try to wrap this vlog up pretty quick it won't be a real long vlog it's just i'm gonna walk over here and show you what they're working on here i got i got a company out here pu putting up the post for my um i talked about before the um the barn and the um the carport um so they should have that done uh, they're gonna have to come back monday it's it's late you can see we got about an hour hour and a half of daylight left but they're gonna probably work for another hour or so trying to get as many sets as they can you know we'll walk over there and show you that here in just a minute but let's take a look at some of these Kiko goats. Um, I want to give you an update because three of them, from what I could tell, when I took some hay out here just a little bit ago, um, they got full-blown milk uh, milk uh, in. So it's just a matter of time till they have little ones. I'm not going to get the barn done in time for them to kid. It would be nice, but I don't think it's going to happen. There's Coco. What's up, Coco? There's Shadow. Shadow and Coco. If they turn around for you, I'll show you the show you their milk now shadow doesn't really or uh, coco didn't really have with the black one out there and the brown one they got she, she out there she's got full blown full milk in the very back and i thought she did too right here i can't get them turned around for you you gonna turn around yeah you gonna turn around come on why don't y'all turn around they're not going to. Oh, here comes that one. Here comes that one. Turn around. Okay, so they're not going to turn around, but I'll, I'll try to catch that in a later video. Um, like I said, I'm just going to give you a quick update, show you some stuff I got for the bar or for the chicken coop. I have not shown you guys yet, um, unless you are on uh, my Instagram, Keeping It Dutch, or my Facebook page, Keeping It Dutch. I did post some videos on that. If you guys aren't um, over there keeping up, I do post uh, pictures. Um, over there that you guys don't see on YouTube obviously so we'll walk over here and I'll show you what they got going on and Then we'll show you some stuff. I got for the chicken coop
guys getting the boss to do something? <laughs> hey, you want to give yourself a plug? I got a lot of local people to watch. Hey, I got uh, my buddy Tyler. You went to school with my brother Vincent, right? Yep. Oh, he's a mess, ain't he? He is. He is. <laughs> uh, but I got Tyler over here. He does a lot of fencing. He does the pole barn stuff. Um, I want to give him a plug on here because I know there's a lot of local people around here um, that watch this. So you do, what do you specialize in? We specialize in commercial and residential fencing. Um, the business is GW Construction and Fencing. And we, have, of course, do multiple other things. We do gravel work, final grading, uh, pole barn setups gated entryways, welded gated entryways, commercial and residential fencing, and stuff like that. So how do they get a hold of you if they want to set, uh, set something up? If anybody wants a free estimate, you can call 918-530-0578, and that is our work number. Heck yeah. So you got to stay pretty busy, aren't you? Yes, sir. Hope you might be getting some phone calls now. Hey, we'll take that. <laughs> That's right. Thank you. So like I talked before, he, he kind of wasn't ready for me to get him on camera, but if you have not, if you don't YouTube, it is awkward to be on camera for sure. So he did a good job, did a really good job. Uh, so ho if you guys are interested in uh, Tyler, he's, uh, they did the intro gate, they finished the gate today. I'll make a whole separate video. I'm like walking up there right now to show you guys. Um, they did Kevin from Hidden Heights Farm. They did his gate. Um, that's how I got a hold of him and found out he actually went to school with my brother Vincent. Um, but they're doing they're setting all the posts for me and then i plan on doing everything else um so yeah they they're those are six by six he's got machinery that he can um he, he uses to do all the stuff so it's a good deal he did some he's gonna finish up some dirt work that he started and uh, they're doing a good job getting everything squared uh 10 foot 10 foot on center so whenever i put my uh, boards up they're gonna match up just right and uh, this is gonna be a good barn we're doing a 30 by 40 barn and a it's like 60 by 20 is what it ends up being um, carport so it'll be, it'll be 20 way over there and then 40 this way, but it equals 60 the way it lays out because it's 20 feet deep. But you can see they're getting on it. They're set. They're going to try to, like I said, they're going to try to set as many of these posts as they can. These things are huge. They're heavy. They're actually 14, they're actually 14 foot um, uh, posts, treated, treated lumber, treated posts, four, uh, 14 foot, six by six. And uh, they are putting them in the ground, I think at least three feet. So that's good. Um, this barn is going nowhere. I'll show you guys a little bit, a little bit more what they got set up, and then we'll go over and look at the chicken coop. So that's, it's an L-shaped carport, and the barn's gonna be right there where they're working at. So you can see here's an update on the chicken coop. I got these windows installed. Now I'll be taking these off. I'll take these out whenever I put my uh, my siding up, and because uh, if I ever need to replace one of these, I don't want the siding over it, um, and then have to take the siding off to get this off. So I'm gonna put the siding, I'm gonna put the windows over the siding, and I'll trim it all out, and it's gonna be nice. But you can see it's got the wire mesh. There we go. They're designed just for chicken coops. I got one on each side. I installed those yesterday. Um, if I get a chance, I might throw some footage of me installing these up uh, right now. Y'all go ahead and do that. I'll throw some footage of me installing these real quick. Okay, so you see me installing those. I actually went, me and my nephew Dylan went and picked up the metal for it. I got the ridge cap, I got the trim. Um, I actually got the metal right here. Uh, can't see it. It's gonna match the roof of the barn, the pole barn way, way over there. I got a pole barn um, over there. It's gonna match the roof on that. And then I'm also gonna get the same metal roof for the carport and the barn right there. So it's all gonna match. My wife's gonna be excited about that. And then, if you guys have not noticed, I have not got this place cleaned up like I should. From It all extends from the house build, which has been about 11, 10, 11 months ago. I still got piles of stuff I need to get. I need to get cleaned up to make this place look nice and presentable. And uh, it's just one of them things when you work a full-time job and you're YouTubing full-time and you got three kids, you guys know how it is. You kind of put things off. Well, check this out. Yeah, I got me a dumpster. So we're gonna clean this place up and get it looking nice again. It's gonna hold a lot of stuff. 
I don't think I got that much junk laying around, but you'll be surprised. I'll probably fill this sucker up. Uh, as soon as I get all this cleaned up, I got this for a couple weeks. Um, I'll probably end up renting a tractor or something over here, getting something over here and picking all this up, cleaning it up. I want to start working this. I got to get the barn first, but before the spring comes, I'm going to extend my garden, my raised bed gardens over there. Um, so that's just a little update I got for you guys. We're all doing good. Um, I'm going to go cook some steaks. I got Dylan and Megan over here, and uh, we're going to cook for them. Brandy's at work, so the time she gets off, dinner will be ready. And it's just one of them evenings. We're just spending some time with family, and I wouldn't change it for anything. Um, so this is awesome. You guys, I just want to let you guys know how much I appreciate you all uh, for stopping by the channel, following along, watching the videos, liking them, sharing them, and all that. It means the world to me and my family. We can't thank you guys enough. And uh, just thank you. Um, we love you guys. And like always, if you like this video, smash that like button from the foot. And if you're not subscribed, please subscribe to the channel. And uh, that's all I got for you. So, so thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next video.